Hey TC Kids, welcome to a brand new month of fun, adventure, and a whole lot of creativity. All month long, we're gonna be right here at the Creation Station. It's going to be incredible. And this week, we're gonna be using Oh, we're gonna be using these Legos and we're gonna be building, but listen, I'm not gonna tell you all about it yet. I think we should just get started. Today, we are learning all about creation. That's right, we're gonna be running it all the way back to the beginning. We're gonna be making things that God created out of these Legos. Well, I'm not gonna be doing it, but they are. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, I think it's time for us to get to building. Ready in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, TC Kids, let's give these builders some time to build their creations, but until then, we're gonna take a break and head to worship. Come on, get up on your feet and let's worship. There you go, get loose. And jump. This life in the water. There you go. Jump. I jump into your freedom in the free fall. You take control. Hey, jump. I jump into your freedom in the free fall. And find my soul. There you go. And you Nay -nay. Okay. Can. Three sound. Hey, let me see those moves. Next time, come on. I jump into your Ooh. in the free fall. You find my soul, and you make There's that nay nay, come on. When I surrender to hey. you, Jesus you. yeah, great job. Amazing. That looks so awesome. You guys, 
I cannot believe that you guys created all of these creations. Okay, I remember that we were talking about the different days and let me guess, this is light and dark. Okay, Nehemiah, we can see it, I love it. Okay, Mia, tell me, explain to me, teach me. What is this that you've created for us? So, I made the sun. The sun, okay. And uh, the water. Amazing, the sun and the sea. I tried to spell God because he made all this. Period, you're preaching through the Legos. I love to see it, Jordan. So I made a little, I made a tree and some water. I love it. Okay, can everybody hold up their creations? I mean, those things look good. Wow, light and dark, the sun and the sea. You can hold it up, I don't think it'll fall down. Oh, okay, they're perfect. Uh, the sun and the sea, and some land and some ocean. I mean, incredible. It was so awesome. You know what, you guys? I think that we've gotten our fair share of building done. You know what? Take a seat and get ready for our Bible story. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. Now, if you would like to have a relationship with God, it's simple. All you have to do is say this prayer and believe it in your heart. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and repeat this after me. Say, Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus. I believe he lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today I give you my life. Change me. Renew me. Transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Way to go. This is big news. I mean, huge news ginormous news. This is not something you should keep to yourself. It's time to make some noise about it. Make sure you tell your mom, your aunt, your grandma, your uncle, your dog, tell everyone. But also be sure to click on the I Choose Jesus link below to let us know that you just made that decision. We want to celebrate with you. Is it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means that you are a VIP or a very important person. Make sure to click on the I am new to TC Kids link below to let us know. And don't forget to keep hanging out with us as we continue to learn about God and have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, wow, these creations are incredible. I think if we put them all together, they make a beautiful picture of creation and give us a good glimpse into the first four days of creation. Listen kids, give yourselves a round of applause. Great job. 
Well, kids, we've had a lot of fun with you today, and I hope that you had a lot of fun learning about creation with our Legos today. Join us next week for more fun creations and a Lego Bible story. We love you, God loves you, and we'll see you right back here next week at TC Kids. Now go out and live a transformed life.